joining me on this episode of Victorious Living Today. I'm Erica Flukas, life coach and speaker. Our goal here on this show is to provide you biblical truths for your everyday life. Fear has been defined as false evidence appearing real. Fear is nothing but a negative emotion that comes to stop us from moving forward. On this episode of Victorious Living Today, I want to talk about how do we really overcome fear. But before we do that, I want to first invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You maybe have just found the channel or listening to me for the first time or stumbled across this particular video. I want to say welcome and thank you for tuning in. But go ahead and subscribe and also hit the bell button so you will always be notified when I'm publishing a new video every Friday around 11.45 a.m. Eastern Time. I want to thank you for your support and I pray that God is speaking directly through me to you and you are living a victorious life. Fear. What does the Bible say about fear? Well, in 2 Timothy 1.7, It says that for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So this scripture tells us that fear is a spirit. It's a spirit contrary to God and God's word. Fear is not of God and it's not even the character of God. We know that God has given us the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace. So if God has given us peace, we know that fear is the direct opposite of that. So we should not claim it nor accept it into our lives. How do we overcome fear? Number one, we have to first realize that it is not of God. It is of the devil. It comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So the devil wants to always deceive and corrupt the truth because that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So the devil wants to always deceive and corrupt the truth because also in that same scripture, it says that Jesus came to not just give us a life, but give us life more abundantly. What is that abundant life? consist of? Well, part of that is peace. Jesus gave us peace. So we have to grab a hold of that peace. We have to, number one, recognize that fear is not of God. It is of the devil. Number two, we have to recognize that God has given us peace. We It already exists. We have it. The scripture, John 14, 27 tells us, peace I leave you. This is what Jesus is saying to his disciples. Peace I leave you. My peace I give to you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. So the very fact that Jesus would tell his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid tells us that he knew that we would have emotions, that we would Um, feel these negative emotions such as fear. So we have to realize, again, that fear will come. It will try to come to distract us, get us off off track, to keep us from moving forward in whatever God is calling us to do, or to just just to be so fearful that we are just so scared and, and we get paralyzed. Several years ago, actually it was about six years ago, I had a lump on my um, neck. It was actually uh, right on the outside of my thyroid gland. And I remember the doctor saying, we're gonna have to do a biopsy because there's a chance that it could be cancerous. Let me tell you, fear gripped me so hard. I mean, I was scared. I was scared because in my mind, hearing the word cancer, I felt like was a death sentence. I have lost loved ones to cancer, and I believe all of us know someone who has had cancer. Um, And so, you know, when you hear cancer, 
it's just it's just like a bad word right and so and then I had to wait six weeks before I could get the biopsy done it took you know the specialist that my doctor wanted me to go to they were booked and so if you can imagine all the anxiety that started to stir in me and the fear again just off of getting the biopsy I wasn't diagnosed and I can remember having kind of like a, a meltdown one day. And I just felt like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I have to get a biopsy for cancer. And let me add that my hair was falling out too at the same time. And so all these unknowns were happening in my, in my life at this time. And I just remember what God said in his word in Jeremiah 29, that the Lord has a plan for me. God knows the plan that he has for my life. A plan to give me a hope in a future, not to harm me. And so in that moment, I knew that, first of all, God had a plan for my life, that this was not it for me. And then I also realized that he has created me to be an overcomer. I am more than a conqueror. And so when I thought about that, I was like, you know, I'm going to spend more of my time building my faith and resting in knowing that, Lord, you are my God, that I can trust you, as Proverbs 3 says, and knowing that I can trust you with all my heart and not lean into my own understanding, as Proverbs says. And so what I decided to do is just saturate my life, my world with God's presence. I began to listen to more praise and worship music, got into the word of God more on scriptures regarding my faith and peace. And really just feeding my faith so I could be built up. And so the day I had the biopsy, I can remember just having just a stillness within me. There was no fear. And even continuing with the praise and worship music as they were doing the test, I was listening to praise and worship music just to just just to calm, just to keep calm. And Thanks be to God, um, the, the biopsy came out negative. But that is how we grab a hold of our peace. We have to build our faith up. Because if we are not believing in what Jesus has already given us, then it's a faith problem. And we have to realize what he told us in scripture. That his perfect love will cast out fear. 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, your child, humans may fail you. They may not always give you the perfect love, but the good news is God's perfect love will cast out fear. And so just on feasting and meditating on that truth should help you know that you have nothing to fear. Because again, he told us, do not be afraid. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. God's perfect love casts out all fear. When you feel fearful, Meditate on that scripture, the word of God that says that God loves me with a perfect love and his perfect love right now is casting out all the fear that I have. God loves me. I hold on to your peace, Lord. I will not let my heart be troubled. I will not be afraid. I grab a hold your peace right now, Lord. Fill me up with nothing but your peace. Remove all fear. In the name of Jesus, amen. And that, my friends, is how 
you overcome fear. I want to invite you into an exercise. I've created a worksheet that will kind of help you identify what your fears are and it gives you more scripture to look at. And it even gives you a, gui a guided prayer. If you're really battling fear heavily right now, or if you just want it for a future, or maybe to share with a friend, I recommend that you go ahead and grab this worksheet. The link is in the description box on how you get it. It's also here on the screen. And so I invite you to go ahead and sign up and um, grab that worksheet. Again, like I said, it'll give you some additional scriptures to study. It'll ask you some questions specific to your situation. Um, so that you can really sit and, and think about your particular situation. And then at the end of the worksheet is a prayer that I offer for you to say over yourself. And so I thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support. And remember, you are victorious.